Hey, this is Gary Dean with PremiumCustomDetailing.com uh, in Tampa, Florida. I'm actually here today at my new shop. Uh, this is the first vehicle that I will have polished in this new shop, so I'm excited about that. Um, this is a 2011 Jet Black BMW 535i. Um, car looks great, right? You're looking around the car and all shiny, glossy, nice new car. Well, unfortunately, this vehicle has been severely battered in the front end by the dealership. Uh, in Florida, we don't, we don't have to have a front license plate. So uh, on the front bumper here, there were holes that, that the dealership had drilled. I don't know if you can see right there. And then the other one is right there. But uh, he requested that the dealership fill in those holes so it didn't look so bad since we don't have to have a front license plate and the dealership said okay well we'll do that meanwhile we're gonna hack the paint up to the point that it requires a professional detailer which clearly they are not uh, you can see that extreme haze right there um, my concern with that is that it may be cut so far down in the clear coat that um, we're sitting on paint which means if I start cutting into it or trying to polish it it's going to just further take off whatever's left and then look worse so uh, my conversation with my client was do what I can I'm gonna try it and we'll see I mean you can see sanding marks they left behind it's just horrible I'm not sure why any dealership would let this type of vehicle go, especially BMW. Do you see this haziness right here? That actually, this right here is actually sanding scratches that were not removed. It's just, it's severe. It's, it's, so bad that I cannot believe that's there's the same type of haziness right in there looks like the paint super thin which worries me more sanding marks up at the top here more extreme haziness which that area scares me as well it's just, it's horrible. You can see where they taped underneath there. Um, as well as underneath there. See the tape line. It just, it's super bad. Super duper bad. It's got overspray all over it. I mean, this thing is just hammered. I have no clue why the dealership allows this to go on. You see all this haziness? And you can see that it goes from haziness to a little more clarity. It's still hacked up, but I don't know why the front of this bumper is so hazy. I'm not sure, but I can take care of it. Like I said, my main concerns are this front bumper. I'm gonna focus on that first, see where we can go. The rest of the vehicle is definitely hammered. You can see the scratches, um, the random isolated deeper scratches in the paint. It's, it lacks the clarity you would expect from a 2011 BMW in jet black. See all those scratches? All right, Gary Dean again. We're back with this BMW. Um, I went ahead and removed, you can see the grill sections. Uh, I took them out of here uh, so that I could 
clean up this area here. There's just no way to really get it done properly with the chrome overlapping the paint there, but you can see how dull and nasty that is. All the swirl marks by whatever wool pad they finished with at the dealership. And you can really see how bad it is by looking at it like this. I've done a test spot on this BMW. This is what it looked like before. You can see all, all the haziness. So here's my tape line. So we don't have any of that haziness anymore. That's just with uh, Meguiar's M105. You can see the difference in clarity for sure. Upon inspection of the hood of this car, it has been wet sanded before and I can tell because, let me find them. Yeah, right there where the light is, you can see to the left of the bottom light, the sanding scratches. Uh, they're all over. I mean, there's another section right there. And you can usually tell because they're all in a uniform uh, patch. The other thing is, I don't know if you can see these pigtails. Little swirly loos there. I know you see those where the light is. Yeah, that's what happens when you use a machine to wet sand and don't get all of that out. All right, I've uh, compounded this side here. This is my tape line. Still got swirlies, no swirlies. Bam, swirls, nice and clear. The car's all done now. You can see that the paint looks awesome. Um, still got some what we call random isolated deeper scratches or rids, but it looks a hell of a lot better than it did when it got here. It's actually a lot darker and deeper and glossier than it was when it got here. This is a 2011 and believe it or not, it definitely needed a lot of work. All right, here's the front bumper after all the work I did to it. It looks a hell of a lot better than it did. You can see you don't have the haziness that it had. I was able to get a lot of those wet sanding marks out. Unfortunately, there are still a few left in there. It just, it's too difficult to remove all that stuff when you have it. A dealer detailer hack grinding on it with sandpaper and he has no clue how to remove the scratches that he puts in. Any idiot can put in scratches with sandpaper, but it takes, it takes someone with, with skill and, you know, someone who knows what they're doing to remove the wet sanding scratches. So it's unfortunate that uh, dealers don't want to pay quality professionals to do a quality professional job for their for their clients. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. It's it's depressing. Uh, you can see the sun shots. There's no swirls in it. Uh, very very minor, if anything, left. Um, I'm definitely happy with the results I got. It's nice. Now it's it's got it's had a proper detail, so it's even nicer. So once more with the bumper, looks really good. Thanks again for watching.